Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Go ahead and smash the like button for me. Now let's jump right in. You guys, Ray J says he is suicidal. He took to Instagram to share a lengthy message in which he wrote that he is suicidal after an incident at Glorilla's party on Sunday. He references a dispute that went on backstage at Sunday night's BET Awards at the Peacock Theater in downtown LA. His Monday morning post came hours after he was involved in a standoff outside Glorilla's BET Awards after party. Ray J and a Zeus Network executive were yelling about fighting each other. As bodyguards desperately tried to keep things peaceful, Ray J did throw a punch but did not hit anyone. At one point, Ray J grabbed a backpack out of his vehicle and charged back into the crowd. It's unclear what was in the bag, but his team was able to convince him to get back in the vehicle and they drove off without further incident. Let me show you guys the alarming post. He wrote, then it all went bad. First at BET and then later on too. I'm really at a breaking point. To provide for my family and have generational wealth was always the plan. But money is evil and people are bad and I can't take it anymore. These chain of reactions are stemming from being locked in a false reality, confused about this whole life. This whole life. The ish that happened tonight to me at the awards today was hurtful. I'm working backstage and then I go take a break in the back and BET wouldn't let me back in for some reason. I don't know who they didn't want me to see. It was weird. Anyway, I left and went back to silence my frustrations, flashing back to my everyday thought of my life. The truth that's given is a lie. I'm on my way out of the country. The ish that is happening is mind-blowing. It's making me suicidal and uncomfortable with the perception of reality. They paid me to shut up and I did. I feel bad and I hate myself for it. I don't want any more of your dirty money. Mm. And before, all right, after I die, I promise you I will be free of it all and the world can move on with what is real for me, no matter the consequences I have to face on the other side. I tried to do it for real last time. I'm sorry to myself and my sister. Sorry, Brand. You know, Brandy. I will make it right. I won't let them get away with it. I told the people close to me that felt like something is about to happen. F it. I, wait, wait, what? I told the people close to me that I felt like something is about to happen. F it. I said it. That's what he wrote. Before I give my commentary on Ray J, I want to point out a few things that he wrote. He said, money is evil and people are bad. First off, money is not evil. It's the love of money that's evil. And you, Ray J, you love money. You chase money. You'll do anything for money. And you have done a lot of things for money. He also says that he was working backstage at BET and then he go take a break and BET wouldn't let him back in for some reason. And he said that he doesn't know who they didn't, who they didn't want him to see. And he thought it was weird. That is weird. So with all the chaos and the things that these people are involved in, who knows? Stay tuned for that. I'm sure more will come out about what's going on, right? Then he says, the truth that's giving is a lie. What truth? What is he talking about? What truth is he talking about? This is interesting, right? And then he said he's on his way out of the country. So he's running or something? Oh, gosh. Rage is about to be on the run, you guys. And then he says... The ish that is happening 
is mind blowing. Oh, I'm sure it is. A lot of things are happening, and I know it's even crazier behind the scenes. And he said it's making him suicidal. Hmm. I bet. I bet. I bet. And uncomfortable with the perception of reality. Then he said they paid me to shut up, and I did. Who paid you to shut up, Ray J? Hmm. Hmm. I feel bad, and I hate myself for it. I don't want any more of your dirty money. Hmm. Is this Diddy? Because dirty money, you know, Diddy has a, you know, had a group called Diddy's Dirty Money. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just pointing things out. Who paid you to shut up, Rachel? You must well come out now, become clean because it's gonna be exposed. You dirty bastard. Everything will be exposed. And then he said, right before I die, I promise you, I will be free of it all. No, oh, no, you won't. No, you won't, you evil bastard. No, you won't. And then he said, no matter the consequences I have to face on the other side. Oh, yeah. When you meet the creator, you will be judged accordingly. We all will be judged accordingly, right? And then he said, I tried to do it for real last time. So in 2022, he tried to commit. Well, he said he was suicidal again. And yeah, so, all right. Um, he said, I'm sorry to myself and I'm sorry to Brandy. I will make it right. I won't let them get away with it. I told the people close to me that I felt like something is about to happen. That's right. Something is about to happen. A lot is about to happen, Ray J. Because listen, when he said, I'm sorry, Brandy, I will make it right. I won't let them get away with it. I believe that part is about Whitney Houston. Remember the night Whitney passed? Was it the night or the night before? Whitney interrupted an interview that Brandy was doing with Monica and Clive Davis. Whitney came with her daughter, Bobby Christina, and gave uh, Brandy a note. And right after that, either the same night or the next night, I'm not sure, but I remember she passed either the same night or the next night. She passed. Grammy's night, she passed, right? And guess what? When the news broke out, it was reported that Ray J was in the room with her. Ray J was there, and he ran. And then hours later, they changed the story. They said Ray J wasn't there. Come on. Ray J was there. He was the last one to be seen with Whitney Houston. He was there in that room. He gave her those D-R-U-G-S. Okay? And then hours later, I don't know what he did. And then the stories changed. Then the news started reporting something else. They were saying, oh, Ray J wasn't there. No, he was there. He was there. Ray J is a monster. Ray J is evil. Ray J is a demonic soul. Ray J has done a lot of evil stuff. Ray J is one of Hollywood's number one supplier, if you know what I mean. He supply, <laughs> yeah, okay? I don't know if they had him do things to get rid of Whitney, but Ray J was in that room. Wait, Ray J was the last one to see Whitney alive in that room. That's why he said they paid him to keep quiet. You know, they paid me to shut up, and I did. That's what he said. They paid him to shut up, and he did. So who, who, who hired you? Who paid you to do that to Whitney, Ray J? Was it Clive Davis? You know what else is sick? When Whitney passed, her body was still in that hotel room. These evil monsters were above her, partying it up. They had a pre-Grammy award the night before the Grammys. They were partying above Whitney's room while she was laying there, D-E-A-D. These evil Hollywood monsters were above 
her floor and they were partying it up. Alicia Keys, Clive Davis, you name it. They were there partying it up the night before the Grammys, okay? These people are evil. That's why every few years, Ray J is suicidal. Every few years he come out talking about he's suicidal because what he's done won't let him be. He's a freaking scumbag, freaking bastard. He did that to Whitney. He did that to Whitney, okay? And he had the nerve. He had the nerve. There are recordings of him talking about Whitney Houston. How he didn't like her like that. He was just trashing Whitney. Like, how dare you, you talentless bastard. You use Whitney. You had people thinking you guys were together. You know, you, you know, you guys were dating and stuff like that while you were supplying her with, you know what, you monster. Your time is coming, Ray J. I don't like that evil little bastard. I see right through him. I've never liked him. Always been a cornball, a tryhard, you know, like a bisexual freak who's just down for whatever. I mean, he was very close with, with Floyd Mayweather and then Diddy. This guy will do anything, anything for money. Talking about money's evil. No, you evil. Your love of money's evil. When you make money your God, you will do evil things. You will do whatever it takes to keep that money coming. Okay? I remember he did an interview. I think it was The Breakfast Club many, many, many years ago. And he's talking about how he hang, he hang out with homo thugs. He called him homo thugs. Yeah, he said, yeah, he hangs with homo thugs. He got homo thugs. And <laughs> I can't. But that's all, you guys. Ray J, just come out clean. All right, stop with these freaking long, freaking posts. You know, just come out and say who paid you to shut up, and and you did. Who paid you to do that? And why did you get rid of Whitney? Who requested it? Okay. Yeah, we have a lot of questions, right, Jay? A lot of questions, and you need to answer all of them. Okay. But, um, yeah, let me say allegedly for this video because we all know. We all know. But let's just say allegedly, okay? Thank you guys for tuning in. Please like, please subscribe to my channel. And I will see you on the next one. Peace.